Shalom children of God. Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. This lesson we continue in Second Sermon of Moses of Blessed Memory speech to the nation of Israel before his death and the nation of Israel carrying on into the Promised Land. This lesson we will review the portion of Deuteronomy portion of the Bible study will be Torah reading, Shoftim, Deuteronomy 16 18-21-9 with a reading of the Hof Torah, Isaiah 51 12-52 12. The next portion of the Bible study will be, Torah reading, Ki Tetze, Deuteronomy 21 10-25-19 with a Hof Torah, Isaiah 54 1-10. In this Bible study we will be going over, Devarim, Deuteronomy, Chapter 18. I entitled this Bible study, Devarim Chapter 18, The Kohen, the Levitical Priest, and the Levites. Let's play our role. Why? I think there are a couple types of people. Some people take up a role they were born for or into with pleasure and a sense of duty. Whereas others may feel burdened by a birth line role. Some may even free entitled to a roles that someone else earned. And there may even be some who believe it is perfectly okay to take credit for someone else's hard work, hard earned money, fortune, or frame. From a role. I believe this chapter points to the direction that our Father in Heaven is stating that we each play a valuable role in this movie so to speak being played out on earth. I believe our Father in Heaven is further stating that while we are here He, expects us each to fulfill the exact role that He alone has assigned to us. And in fulfilling that role, we earn our due wage or offerings, or heavenly abundance. Some, sadly have been conditioned incorrectly to think that they don't need to work, learn, or educate themselves for the role that God has assigned them. This day and age many seem to think that everything should be handed to them and taken from someone else. That is of course unless it would them that something would be taken away from. In my opinion there is something gravely wrong with some on a deep spiritual level who thinks it is perfectly right to steal from one and give to the lazy or willingly ignorant. Just as there is something demonically wrong with who aim to take advantage of those who are weak or at a disadvantage so to speak. In this Bible study we are going to focus on the Kohenim, Levites, and Levitical priest roles and duties according to all merciful God. But, in truth as I have spoken before I do believe we all should earn our keep in our role that Almighty God has assigned to us. Let's continue on. What to expect this Bible study? We will continue to increase in our intro Hebrew vocabulary, intro Hebrew terminology, Tanakh, the actual Jewish Bible. That means no New Testament, introduction, and Torah spiritual teaching. I have added to the blog newsletter the blessings before and after reading the Torah. Let's get into Jewish terminology. This week's Jewish terminology word is Hadis and Arbaminim. This week's Jewish terminology word is a Hebrew noun pronounced Hadas. This is a branch of a myrtle bush that is part of the lulav used on Sukkot. We will also look at the definition of Arbaminim, which is a Hebrew plural noun pronounced Arbaminim. This word literally means four species. The name for the three parts of the lulav and the atrog which are used to fulfill the commandments to rejoice before the Lord during Sukkot. Moving on to the Bible study section. Blessings of the Torah. Why blessings of the Torah? Before we begin the study of the Torah, blessing is done. In saying the blessing we are fulfilling a mitzvah and blessing Hashem, of glory and truth's beautiful Torah. A mitzvah is defined basically as 1. A commandment of the Jewish law. 2. The fulfillment of such a commandment. 3. A worthy deed. I say these blessings every morning during my morning prayers. And, to ensure I am not leading others into do improper practices, I want to ensure I repeat the blessings of Hashem, our merciful Father's Torah just in case others may not have yet had a chance today. Blessings of the Torah. Blessed are you, Hashem our God, King of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to be engrossed in the words of Torah. Hashem our God, please make the words of your Torah pleasant in our mouths and in the mouths of your people Israel. And may we and our descendants, and the descendants of our descendants, and the descendants of your people the house of Israel, all know your name and be students of your Torah for its own sake. Blessed are you, Hashem who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Hashem our God, King of the universe who chose us from among all the peoples and gave us his Torah. Blessed are you, Hashem, giver of the Torah. Blessing before the reading of the Torah. Borchu Esadu Noi Ham Voroch. Bless the El Road who is blessed. Congregation and Ole say.
Borukadu Noi Han Boruch Lalam Tho Ed. Blessed be the El Road who is blessed for all eternity. Ole continues. Borukata Du Noi Eloheinu Melech Ho Olum, Asherbochar Banu Mikal Ha Amin, Nozan Lanu Es Toroso. Borukata Du Noi, Nosean Ha Toro. Blessed are you, El Road RGD, King of the Universe, who has chosen us from among all the nations and given us his Torah. Blessed are you El Road, who gives the Torah. Let us begin with today's lesson. 1. Portion on portion of Bible study. Can be found by double-clicking this hyperlink which began it after this post-upload video. 2. Biblical text portion of Bible study. This Bible study I have continued to use Metsuda Publications, 2009. The version is hyperlinked for those who are interested in reading further. Portion of a portion. Devarim chapter 18 verses 1 through 2. The Levitical priests, the whole tribe of Levi, shall have no territorial portion with Israel. They shall live only off offerings by fire as their portion, and shall have no portion among their brother tribes, is their portion, as promised. Commentary Verses concerning fire offering of Ha, Shem, Leviticus 1 9. Its entrails and legs shall be washed with water, and the priest shall turn the whole into smoke on the altar as a burnt offering, an offering by fire of pleasing odor too. Leviticus 1 13. It is a burnt offering, an offering by fire, of pleasing odor too. Leviticus 1 17. The priest shall tear it open by its wings, without severing it, and turn it into smoke on the altar, upon the wood that is on the fire, it is a burnt offering, an offering by fire, of pleasing odor too. Leviticus 2 2. The priest shall scoop out of it a handful of its choice flour and oil, as well as all of its frankincense, and this token portion he shall turn into smoke on the altar, as an offering by fire, of pleasing. Leviticus 2 3. What remains of the cereal offering will be for Aaron and his sons most holy after the fire offering to the Eternal. Leviticus 2 9. The priest shall remove the token portion from the meal offering and turn it into smoke on the altar as an offering by fire, of pleasing odor too. Leviticus 2.10 Whatever remains of the meal offering belongs to Aharon and his sons. It is, holy of holies, most holy, of the fire offering of Adonai. Leviticus 2.11 No meal offering that you offer to shall be made with leaven, for no leaven or honey may be turned into smoke as an offering by fire too. Leviticus 2.14 If you bring a meal offering of first fruits too, you shall bring new ears parched with fire, grits of the fresh grain, as your meal offering of first fruits. Leviticus 2.16 And the priest shall turn a token portion of it into smoke, some of the grits and oil, with all of the frankincense, as an offering by fire too. Define inheritance? Noun Synonyms of inheritance Colon something that is or may be inherited Colon the act of inheriting property. Colon the reception of genetic qualities by transmission from parent to offspring. Colon the acquisition of a possession, condition, or trait from past generations. Colon tradition. Colon a valuable possession that is a common heritage from nature. Obsolete possession. Verses and commentary on inheritance. Leviticus 23:14 day, until you have brought the offering of your God, a statute forever, throughout your generations, in all of your dwellings, some say, even outside Eretz Yisrael, others, in Eretz Yisrael, after inheritance. The Rashi Chumash by Rabbi Shraga Silverstein. Leviticus 25:33. The Levites did not have fields and vineyards as inheritances, therefore, their houses and open lots are their holdings in place of fields and are redeemable like fields, so that their inheritance not. The Rashi Chumash by Rabbi Shraga Silverstein. Definition Tithes Noun Synonyms of tithe Colon a tenth part of something paid as a voluntary contribution or as a tax especially for the support of a religious establishment. Colon the obligation represented by individual tithes, tenth broadly, a small part, a small tax or levy. Verb Tithe, tithing Transitive verb, to pay or give a tenth part of especially for the support of a religious establishment or organization, to levy a tithe on. Form the verses we have reviewed three separate billets, three separate appointments, and three separate covenants. All of which are within the covenant of Israel, 
Isaac, and Abraham. Define covenant. Noun. Synonyms of covenant, a usually formal, solemn, and binding agreement, compact. International law, which depends upon the sanctity of covenants between rulers. George H. Sabine. Colon a written agreement or promise usually under seal between two or more parties especially for the performance of some action. The deed conveying the land contained restrictive covenants. Colon the common law action to recover damages for breach of such a contract. Verb. Transitive verb, to promise by a covenant, pledge. Intransitive verb, to enter into a covenant, contract. In previous classes we have review and learned that multiple covenant can and do exist within and upon a people, space and time. I repeat. Multiple covenants can exist within the same covenant and at the same time period. The most senior covenant of covenants is obviously the covenant of Hashem. The covenant of Hashem overrides every other covenant because obviously our God is supreme. His word is supreme. His word is forever, eternal, solid, and on which we can depend. When humans not matter their billet or title or degree or learnings, guess what? That it correct. Humans are just humans and prone to error, bias, ego, and sadly much more. Devarim chapter 18 verses 3 through 5. This then shall be the priests do from the people, everyone who offers a sacrifice, whether an ox or a sheep, must give the shoulder, the cheeks, and the stomach to the priest. You shall also give him the first fruits of your new grain and wine and oil, and the first shearing of your sheep. For your God has chosen him and his descendants, out of all your tribes, to be in attendance for service in the name of for all time. Commentary Of the Kohanim for those who there are multiple, shifts to works, performing the slaughter, these are the selected based of the duty of the Akashan for the service at the tabernacle. During the time of Moses there were eight watches or cycles of service at the tabernacle. During the time of David and Solomon there were 24 watches ask the tabernacle. Each billet has different duties, different dues and qualifications for those duties. And of course there are difference of consequences for intentional and unintentional violations of one's duty. Even there is, personal billet related sense, consequences for family related misbehaviors or mishaps. To name a few. Many focus on the consequences of certain behaviors, but few focus on the blessings or mitzvah that come from being a zaddik and living righteously and performing to the prescribed character and lifestyle of Hashem and His glory. I want to point out those who actually fulfill the duties of their actual bloodline through related an appointment or billet are the ones to receive from the people. Not those who have the bloodline, but reject a duty or violate the requirement to the standard of the duty bloodline. Devarim chapter 18 verses 6 through 8. If a Levite would go, from any of the settlements throughout Israel where he has been residing, to the place that has chosen, he may do so whenever he pleases. He may serve in the name of his God like all his fellow Levites who are there in attendance before. They shall receive equal shares of the dues, without regard to personal gifts or patrimonies. Commentary Define Patrimonies Noun 1. An inheritance from a father or paternal ancestor. 2. An inheritance or legacy, heritage. 3. An endowment or estate belonging to an institution, especially a church. The Levi's conditional rewards when the Levi travels and perform duties of Torah. In a different location or multiple locations. He is like his brother, in those who serve willingly and openly and honestly at the tabernacle or synagogue. He, who chooses to take on his birthright role with Hashem, is then given conditionally portion for portion. Regardless of who his father was or the reputation of his father. Devarim chapter 18 verses 9 through 14. When you enter the land that your God is giving you, you shall not learn to imitate the apparent practices of those nations. Let no one be found among you who consigns a son or daughter to the fire, or who is an augur, a soothsayer, a diviner, a sorcerer, one who casts spells, or one who consults ghosts or familiar spirits, or one who inquires of the dead. For anyone who does such things is apparent too, and it is because of these apparent things that your God is dispossessing them before you. You must be wholehearted with your God. Those nations that you are about to dispossess do indeed resort to soothsayers and augurs, to you, however, your God has not assigned the like. Commentary Prophecy of Conditional Blessings and Curses Consequences Do not learn to be like those God hates. We are not to learn abominable lifestyles. 
This means abominable lifestyles is not a DNA, stop. Abominable lifestyles are a choice. They are taught, and unfortunately they are celebrated and condoned by those who should be holding themselves to the word of God rather than the approval of man. Greater than what is sorcery? Greater than. Greater than. Greater than noun. Greater than use of supernatural power over others through the assistance of spirits, witchcraft. Greater than originally, divination from the casting of lots. Hence, the use of supernatural knowledge or power gained in any manner, especially through the connivance of evil spirits, magic art, enchantment, witchcraft, spells, charms. Greater than divination by the assistance, or supposed assistance, of evil spirits, or the power of commanding evil spirits, magic, necromancy, witchcraft, enchantment. Greater than what is animal charms? Greater than charms are generally items of folk magic and superstitions, such as a lucky horseshoe, a four-leaf clover, a rabbit's foot, a baby's call or a bracelet of personal charms signifying important things in the wearer's life. A charm can also be used to refer to a simple verbal spell. Greater than what is of? What is Hidori? Greater than Leviticus 19.31 Greater than Greater than do not turn to the Ovoth, a bailiff is a wizard who speaks from his armpits. Greater than and Greater than to the Yidonim, a Yidoni is one who places the bone of an animal called Yidoa in his mouth and the bone speaks. Greater than the Rashi Chumish by Rabbi Shraga Silverstein. Greater than what is necromancy? Greater than necromancy is the practice that involves the reanimation and control of the dead. Greater than whether the mage is calling forth a spirit to communicate for augury purposes or the reanimation of a corpse for a task. When raising a spirit or zombie we're calling upon the memories or echo to instill a sort of false life into your focus. Greater than Greater than necromancy, or the practice of invoking the spirits of the dead, was an illegal form of ritual in ancient Greece but evidence suggests that it was practiced in secrecy. Greater than Greater than the necromanteion was an ancient temple dedicated to the god of the underworld, Hades, and his consort, the goddess Persephone. Greater than Greater than the necromancy which features heavily in the Greek magical papyri would have, in Sir Terry Pratchett's terms, qualified as the dragon magic, i.e. the metaphysical rocket science, of Hellenic magic. Planetary magic became the dragon magic of the Renaissance. Devarim chapter 18 verses 15 through 16. From among your own people, your God will raise up for you a prophet like myself, that is whom you shall heed. This is just what you asked of your God at Horeb, on the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear the voice of my God any longer or see this wondrous fire any more, lest I die. Commentary God and God alone appointed prophets like Moses similar, but not exactly the same as Moses, peace be upon him, what does this mean? Well let's examine Moses. Moses was born of Jewish parents, Levite tribe. But, he was raised by idol worshippers. He grew up most likely observing idolatry unknown to him that was against God. Moses felt a calling towards his people and returned of his people. Moses, unfortunately did a great sin and had to flee. While he was away, lost, confused, probably at his lowest point emotionally and mentally. He reached out and looks for God. God reveals himself to Moses. Moses accepts the great I am and is chosen for a great purpose. God, gave him a mission plan for his life and then God sent him to his people as a leader. Once Moses accepted his role as a leader God sent him to Pharaoh with an aide, his older brother. Also a Levite. Moses did not start out being raised in the house of Judaism or amongst his fellow people. He actually started out in the house of idolaters, but he stepped into his role being a leader of the nation of Israel while he was in the desert this is amazing. A fun note when Moses returned to his people. His people didn't recognize him. They didn't acknowledge him as being Jewish. In fact many wanted to fight against him as being a leader of his people. We read about this slash that time again even while they were in the desert. Even after Hashem himself, rebukes the entire nation for attempting to raise up and overthrow Moses. Outstretched arms. I say this to note we have to remember just because someone might not be born in the community, Moses is said to have been born. In the fields, or raised in the community, does not mean they are not of the covenant of Ha, Shem, which is the superior covenant. The covenant above all covenants. And human opinions and or feelings. Devarim chapter 18 verses 17 through 22. 
Whereupon said to me, They have done well in speaking thus. I will raise up for them from among their own people a prophet like yourself, in whose mouth I will put my words and who will speak to them all that I command, and anybody who fails to heed the words, the prophet, speaks in my name, I myself will call to account. But any prophet who presumes to speak in my name an oracle that I did not command to be uttered, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that prophet shall die. And should you ask yourselves, how can we know that the oracle was not spoken by? If the prophet speaks in the name of and the oracle does not come true, that oracle was not spoken by, the prophet has uttered it presumptuously, do not stand in dread of that person. Commentary False Prophets Verses Greater than Deuteronomy 13 6 Greater than and that false prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, will be put to death, because he spoke rebelliously against the Eternal your Almighty, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, and redeemed you from. Greater than Tori Shera, translated and edited by Charles Kahane. New York, 1963. Greater than. Greater than Mishneh Torah, foreign worship and customs of the nations 1-2. Greater than the false prophet pointed out to them the figure which he had invented out of his own mind, and asserted that it is a figure of that particular star, which had been shown him in his prophetic vision. Greater than the Mishneh Torah by Maimonides. Trans. By Moses Hyamson, 1937-1949. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than Deuteronomy 18.20. Greater than but if a false prophet dares to speak a prophecy in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or he who prophesies in the name of the idols, these false prophets must be put to death by the court. Greater than Torah Shera, translated and edited by Charles Kahane. New York, 1963. Greater than. Greater than Mishneh Torah, foundations of the Torah 9 to 1. Greater than a mitzvah in a manner which differs from the tradition received from Moses, or d, if he says that the mitzvot commanded to the Jews are not forever, but rather were given for a limited time, he is a false, prophet. Greater than Mishneh Torah, trans. By Eliyahu Taucher. Jerusalem, Manaim Pub. C1986-C2007. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than Deuteronomy 18.22. Greater than if the prophet predicts something in the name of the Eternal, and the event does not happen, nor does it come about, that is the thing which the Eternal has not spoken, the false prophet has spoken in. Greater than Tori Shera, translated and edited by Charles Kahane. New York, 1963. Greater than. Greater than Mishnah Sanhedrin 1-5. Greater than the court judges cases involving an entire tribe that sinned, or a false prophet, or a high priest who transgressed a prohibition that carries a possible death sentence, only on the basis of a court of. Greater than William Davidson edition, English. Greater than. Greater than Mishneh Torah, foundations of the Torah 10 to 4. Greater than if, a prophet, promised that good would come and such and such will occur, and the good about which he prophesied did not materialize, he is surely a false prophet, he told Kananiah, if my words are not fulfilled, this will not lead to the conclusion that I am a false prophet, if your promises are not fulfilled, however, it will be proven that you are a false prophet, as implied by, Jeremiah 28 9 here, now, this word. Greater than Mishneh Torah, trans. By Eliyahu Taucher. Jerusalem, Manaim Pub. C1986-C2007. Greater than Amen and Amen, hashtag thank you. Ha! Shem. Greater than congratulations. You have made through another Bible study. Sound some praise and joy to our Father who is in heaven. Greater than glory to the one and only living God. Ha! Shem. I pray that everyone, everywhere, repents and returns to the only one who can save Ha! Shem. The true and only living God. Receive Torah. Be back in the covenant of God. Be at the Har sign I say yes and be saved. The choice is yours. Amen and Amen. Say it again for the people in the back. Oa Amen and Oa Amen. Greater than blessings after reading the Torah. Greater than. Greater than Barukata du Noi Eloheinu Melech Ho Olum, Asher Nozen Lanu Toras Eames, Jiye Olum Nota Bisakainu. Barukata du Noi, Nosean Ha Toro. Greater than translation. Greater than blessed are you, El Rodar God. King of the Universe, 
who has given us the Torah of truth and planted eternal life within us. Blessed are you El Rod, who gives the Torah. Greater than credit learn the Torah blessings for an Aliyah. Biblical portion of Bible study complete. Friendly reminder, half Torah this portion is. Yeshayahu, Isaiah, chapter 51. 12 I, yea I am he who consoles you, who are you that you fear man who will die and the son of man, who shall be made, as, grass question mark 13 and you forgot the Lord your maker, who spread out the heavens and founded the earth, and you fear constantly the whole day because of the wrath of the oppressor when he prepared to destroy. Now where is the wrath of the oppressor question mark 14 what must be poured out hasten to be opened, and he shall not die of destruction, and his bread shall not be wanting. 15 I am the Lord your God, who wrinkles the sea and its waves stir, the Lord of hosts is his name. 16 Then I place my words into your mouth, and with the shadow of my hand I covered you, to plant the heavens and to found the earth and to say to Zion that, you are my people. 17 Awaken, awaken, arise, Jerusalem, for you have drunk from the hand of the Lord the cup of his wrath, the dregs of the cup of weakness you have drained. 18 She has no guide out of all the sons she bore, and she is no one who takes her by the hand out of all the sons she raised. 19 These two things have befallen you, who will lament for you? Plunder and destruction, and famine and sword. With, whom will I console you? Question mark 20 Your sons have fainted, they lie at the entrance of all streets like a wild ox in a net, full of the wrath of the Lord, the rebuke of your God. 21 Therefore, hearken now to this, you poor one, and who is drunk but not from wine. 22 So said your master, the Lord, and your God who shall judge his people, behold, I took from you the cup of weakness, the dregs of the cup of my wrath you shall no longer continue to drink it. 23 And I will place it into the hand of those who cause you to wander, who said to your soul, Bend down and let us cross, and you made your body like the earth and like the street for those who cross. Yeshayahu, Isaiah, chapter 52 One awaken, awaken, put on your strength, O Zion, put on the garments of your beauty, Jerusalem the holy city, for no longer shall the uncircumcised or the unclean continue to enter you. To shake yourselves from the dust, arise, sit down, O Jerusalem, free yourself of the bands of your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Three, for so said the Lord, you were sold for naught, and you shall not be redeemed for money. Four, for so said the Lord God, my people first went down to Egypt to sojourn there, but Assyria oppressed them for nothing. Five, and now, what have I here? says the Lord, that my people has been taken for nothing. His rulers boast, says the Lord, and constantly all day my name is blasphemed. Six, therefore, my people shall know my name, therefore, on that day, for I am he who speaks, here I am. Seven, how beautiful are the feet of the herald on the mountains, announcing peace, heralding good tidings, announcing salvation, saying to Zion, your God has manifested his kingdom. 8 The voice of your watchmen they raised a voice, together they shall sing, for eye to eye they shall see when the Lord returns to Zion. 9 Burst out in song, sing together, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has consoled his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. 10 The Lord has revealed his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. 11 Turn away, turn away, get out of there, touch no unclean one, get out of its midst, purify yourselves, you who bear the Lord's vessels. 12 For not with haste shall you go forth, and not in a flurry of flight shall you go, for the Lord goes before you, and your rear guard is the God of Israel. Sepharia.org Today's Bible study is complete. Thank you merciful HaShem, for allowing us to meet this day. Closing comment, blessings after reading the Torah, and priestly blessing in all sources are hyperlinked. Note, all sources are hyperlinked to allow more translatable version in podcast. I pray others got something out of this portion, Tanakh Bible study and spiritual Torah teaching. Until next time, let us close with the priestly blessing. And Hashem our God spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, Yuveri Checha Adonai by Yishmiricha. Yar Adonai Panav Aleka Vichanika. Yesa Adonai Panav Aleka Vyasam Lecha Shalom. The LD bless you and keep you. The LD make his face shine upon you. And be gracious to you. The LD lift up his countenance upon you. And give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In Hashem and Hashem's alone mighty glorious name. 
forever and ever. Amen and Amen. Cover art created by Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study, photos, apps, internet pull or Facebook page. Credits are noted on art and or hyperlinked for credit. Click and follow for shorts. For those that are new to this Bible study, welcome. The following is a brief review of this Bible study. 1. This blog post will have the resources and sources links for the season 5 Bible studies. 2. All books used and readings from during live Bible study can be found on our website, Marie Speaks God's Grace. Live in the Season 5 portion of the website. 3. After live Bible studies have completed, I will upload to Rumble and post link in this blog. How we conduct Bible studies here. We believe in one and only one God. Hashem, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We do not and will not pray in any other's name or praise any other, but Ha. Shem. Exodus chapter 20, 2-14. God spoke all these words, saying, I the Lord am your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a sculptured image or any likeness of what is in the heavens above, or on the earth below, or in the waters under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I the Lord your God am an impassioned God, visiting the guilt of the parents upon the children, upon the third and upon the fourth generations of those who reject me. But showing kindness to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. We believe God has called each of us to search matters out. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. And the glory of a king to plumb a matter. Like the heavens in their height, like the earth in its depth, is the mind of kings, unfathomable. Proverbs 25 2-3 this is one reason why here at Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study, we review several historical references and resources, of which we provide links and or screenshots for others to study at their leisure. We have been directed by God Wonderful and Almighty, to go book by book, verse by verse, sharing His Torah and Tanakh. We believe as directed by God our Heavenly Father, learning and growing in Torah and Tanakh leads to understanding and wisdom. This shall only be achieved in reading, studying, and sharing His Word for ourselves, not relying on man. Learning, growing, and studying with our LD is to be done with others that are like-minded, but more so during our personal time. The blogs are written to assist those just beginning to study the Bible as a starting point. The live or recorded Bible studies are to cover and release opportunities and guidance, but ultimately is one's own personal responsibility to rule, govern, and be purposeful in their relationship with God. Proverbs 22, 4-6 The effect of humility is fear of the Lord. Wealth, honor, and life. Thorns and snares are in the path of the crooked. He who values his life will keep far from them. Train the lad in the way he ought to go. He will not swerve from it even in old age. Ezekiel 18, 20-22 The person who sins, he alone shall die. A child shall not share the burden of a parent's guilt, nor shall a parent share the burden of a child's guilt, the righteousness of the righteous shall be accounted to him alone, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be accounted to him alone. Moreover, if the wicked one repents of all the sins that he committed and keeps all my laws and does what is just and right, he shall live, he shall not die. None of the transgressions he committed shall be remembered against him, because of the righteousness he has practiced, he shall live. Is it my desire that a wicked person shall die? Says the LD God. It is rather that he shall turn back from his ways and live. May Hashem, blessed be he continue to bless us all and may we all be forever written in the book of life. Amen and Amen. A little about me, I love Hashem, Torah, and Tanakh. I am not perfect. If we meet, we talking about Torah, drinking tea or coffee, and what books are out about Hashem. And maybe over some kosher pizza. Maybe over some kosher steak, make over super sweet kosher cake. Have a fun laugh about you guess it. Torah. Or on a bike, or during a hike, or while riding on a train in the rain as the rain falls nicely on the plane in Spain, but either way, we'll be talking about Torah. What is import to me colon dot 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 a relationship with our Father Hashem our merciful Creator, Savior, and Wise King. Live in Torah, live with family and community of tribe. My thoughts, we may not be perfect, but we study, we learn, 
we laugh, and we grow. We try try and have the courage to try again. My goals, to learn and grow and share love of Torah and Hashem with others who are willing or open to hearing. I have been using the Minds.com account and Rumble, Live Bible Study Video Post, Rumble As main accounts Lastly, never lose faith. Let's continue to fear and love Hashem like A and pray. Pray for our nation, enemies, fellows and many lost sons and daughters of Torah to return to Hashem, bless be he forever and ever, Amen. Ha! Shem is with me, I shall not be afraid. Blessings and Prayers Marie Let U.S. begin Link to Rumble Live Bible Study Link to Previous Bible Study Audio Podcast Blog Version of Bible Study Audio of Blog Link to YouTube Live Link Bible Study Cover Art Credit Fair Use Under the Fair Use Doctrine of the U.S. Copyright Statute, it is permissible to use limited portions of a work including quotes, for purposes such as commentary, criticism, news reporting, and scholarly reports. There are no legal rules permitting the use of a specific number of words, a certain number of musical notes, or percentage of a work.